new video time um this is the video um i'm gonna go step by step on how to install your playstation 3 controller without motion enjoy using this method that i've shown before um here are the instructions right there on your screen i'm gonna highlight them it says new install and i'm just gonna follow them exactly how the user the poster scarlet crush told me how to follow told us how to follow them so I'm just doing exactly what he did and you guys should be able to just follow this step by step and then you should be able to get this working for your system this should work on Windows 7 or Windows 8 and Windows Vista so here we go the first thing it tells us to do is to connect your dongle and DS3 via USB and let Windows install its default drivers okay so I'm not gonna be doing a Bluetooth installation I'm just gonna do a regular USB installation so all I'm gonna do is just take this USB that's in my hand right now and just plug it in to one of my USB uh, ports and I'm just gonna plug it in right here and I'm gonna let Windows install its thing let, let it do its thing and uh, I'm not even gonna skip the video right here I'll just wait till it's done installing that way you guys don't get confused at all okay so Actually, I'm going to click on this tab right here and uh, show you guys what's what's happening right now. So you see that it says PlayStation R3 controller searching Windows update. I'm going to go ahead and let it do that. So this is going to take a minute. Um, depending on how long it takes, I might just skip this part because all it's doing all Windows is doing is just uh, looking online for any updated drivers for the PlayStation 3 controller which shouldn't be a big deal but I'm just gonna I'm gonna be patient <laughs> and let it let this run its course so oh here we go it's installing mm -hmm. driver software and it's ready for use it says DS3 controller for Windows installed alright it's if and if it doesn't say DS3 controller for Windows installed, it should say uh, PlayStation R3 controller or whatever. It should say that or this. That's all. That's step one, complete right there. Hit close. Step one is done. Now let's go to step two. It says unpack the archive. The archive he is referring to is what I have linked in the previous video, and I will link in this video as well and all you have to do is just go to the link and it says download latest version here click that and it's going to ask you to download it but I've already done that and it's right here scp ds 3 driver package 1.0.0.103.7z this is the archive he is talking about and when he asks us to uh, unpack it you're going to need a program called uh, WinRAR I'm going to give you a link to that in the description below as well. Or you can use any uh, unzipping package program to do this. All you need to do is uh, I would right click and extract to SCP that long file name and let it, let it do its thing. And a new folder should pop up and drag that right along here. And that's all I'm doing for step two. Step two is complete. Let's go down to step three. Step three asks us to create a directory where you want the service to run from. And I'm just going to do the recommended directory, which is your C drive, program files, and then Scarlet Pro Crush Productions. Uh, you can name the folder wherever you want to, but I'm just going to go to my start menu. Then I'm going to go to comp computer, excuse me. Then I'm going to go to my C drive and go to program files and I'm just reading the instructions right here like it's telling me to do right here and I'm going to create a new folder uh, new folder just right click hit new and go to folder and I'm just going to type it as he has it so I'm going to say scarlet dot crush space productions that's all you have to do just hit enter uh, there's a star on this, in this instruction that says create from an elevator command prop if you have UAC enabled. The directory should not be created anywhere off your user directory. So the directory should not be on your desktop or on your downloads. It should not be on a network drive as well. Say if you have a network uh, hard disk drive like I do, it shouldn't 
be on that at all. It should be in your program files of your C drive. So that's step three done. Step four is to copy the contents of SCP server slash bin to the directory you created. So let's open up the folder that we extracted earlier and step two, open that up and go to SCC, SCP server and bin and all you have to do actually what I'm gonna do is just click on file hit control A this selects all the files and I'm just gonna open this folder that we created in the uh, local disk program files which is your C drive and I'm just gonna drag and release that's all you have to do for step four. Now that step four is completed, step five asks us to run scpdriver.exe. Oops, didn't mean to click that. So all you need to do is just what I would do in this case: hit right, right-click it, and run as an administrator. And that's step five run scpdriver.exe step six xp vista check force install option windows 7 or windows 8 leave it unchecked since i'm running windows 7 i'm going to leave force install unchecked and i don't want the bluetooth bluetooth driver either so i'm going to uncheck that as well i'm going to leave configure service on and all i'm going to do is just hit install which is step seven hit install and i'm just going to let it do its thing and this is going to be in the video, so I'm not going to skip over here anything just in case uh, if something pops up. I can troubleshoot that here right now, so I'm just going to let it do its thing. This might take a while, but I'm not going to skip. So if there's a quiet portion, then your video isn't frozen. It's just me not talking. You can see in the vi uh, window right here it says install completed but it's going to install some other stuff as well. It's not bloatware or anything or anything that's going to slow your computer down. It's just making sure that you're, uh, for future uh, plugins of your PlayStation 3 controller that it just you can plug in and you're ready to go. And I don't know if you heard that or not, but that was uh, the sound of, uh, I didn't do that. That was the uh, program itself that made that sound of something plug again. And also, it says installing the device driver software. Let's see what that is. Let's click on the balloon tool tip. And yes, it's going to say Xbox 360 controller for Windows. Yes, that's fine. If it, your PlayStation 3 installs is like, like that, that's mm -hmm. okay. It's still going to recognize it as a PlayStation 3 controller, so don't worry. It says installing driver software, so just let us do its thing. <laughs> it says Xbox 360, well, Xbox 360 controller for Windows is ready to use. It's going to uh, search for another driver online. And I'm not sure why it's doing that, but that's okay. It's all part of the process. And it says Xbox 360 controller for Windows is ready to use. The USB input device is ready to use. We can close out of that. We can also observe in the uh, window we had opened before, scpdriver.exe, that uh, the install is succeeded. The install summary installed SCP DS3 service, the bus driver, and the DS3. USB driver so uh, that's it on a step 8 which is click exit that's all you need to do and to prove that this is uh, working I'm gonna go ahead and minimize Firefox and I'm gonna minimize this as well I'm gonna go head over to my uh, control panel 
head over the, to the control panel, then go to view devices and printers, I believe. That's where it should be. And you're going to see two things in here. You're going to see two controllers, actually. You're going to see the PlayStation R3 controller in here. And you're also going to see Xbox 360 controller for Windows. And um, all you need to do to check this out to see if this working is uh, right click on uh, the Xbox 360 controller. Hit game controller settings. Then you should see in the controller sub menu, you should see controller Xbox 360 for Windows. And the status says it's okay. You want to go to properties. And you want to push any buttons right here on this menu to see if the buttons are working. And in this case, it is working. Just make sure all the buttons are uh, configured. I don't think the PS button is going to be recognized, but that's okay. The L1, L1, R1 buttons are mapped to a button. Uh, the point of view hat is the D-pad. Up and down is the X, Y axis. No, excuse me, the left left trigger not left trigger what is this the left joystick left joystick is the x y axis right joystick is the x y rotation the z axis would be the uh l2 to increase the z axis and r2 to decrease the z axis and uh every button should be recognized except for the ps button which is fine you're not going to need that for anything of course you, there's no uh, six axis functionality on this, so you won't be able to turn your controller to get an input, but that's okay. I don't think you're going to need that for any of your applications that you're going to be using. But yeah, this is Paint on 75. And if you guys have any more questions or concerns, please just leave a message or leave a comment. And if you need me to make another video, I can and I will. And I just, I just hope this has been helpful for you because I know many people have not been able to uh, get this working on my other video. And uh, Motion Enjoy is just a bad alternative to use. And, yeah, I think I should just get rid of that video. But if it works for some people, then I'm just going to leave it up there. But yeah, this is Pain975, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.